Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. In today's video, we're going to be trying out some newly purchased products and today's look is going to be a quick, rather quick get ready with me because I'm on my way to go outside to run some errands and I just wanted to film this video with you guys before I run out. So I already applied my skincare. The first product I'm going to use is my Lancome Soleil Bronzer. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but this is it. This is an SPF 50 Sun BB Cream. Let's take um, one, two pumps of this and let's just apply it onto my face. I'm gonna blend it out with my beauty sponge. Sorry guys, my camera decided to die on me. I took two pumps of this uh, SPF 50 and I think I took a little too much, but we're gonna use it all up. Let's see how much of a coverage we'll get with this. I'm using my Beauty Blender to blend this out. Hmm, the tone of it is a little too um, dark for me, for my skin tone at the moment. But I think uh, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. This feels like a really lightweight formula. It doesn't look like it's sitting on, on top of my skin. It looks pretty uh, natural, but the color though, I'm not sure about this color. What sucks is they only had one shade. And so I wasn't able to pick my shade or anything. They only had one shade. And this shade is definitely a little orangey for me. So maybe I'll skip bronzer today. And since this is a quicker, rather quicker makeup look, makeup tutorial, maybe I'll skip bronzer for the day. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little yellow and a little dark. But I can still pull it off, I think. I don't have a new uh, concealer, so I'm just gonna be using my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. This Lancome product looks like it's also oxidizing on my skin, like my skin looks more orange right now than it did a few minutes ago. Well, that's too bad because I can't return it because I bought it from uh, Sephora VIB sale. Oh, yeah, I look orange. Oh, this, this product is such a letdown. I was so excited for this because it's got SPA 50, it's tinted. I should have just uh, did my research a little bit more before I purchased this product. But... We're gonna have to make do. So I'm gonna skip bronzing today. Um, and for my eyebrows, I'm just gonna use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel. If you ask me what happened to my uh, lip here, I actually burned it when I was drinking hot chocolate. So for my blush, I'm really excited for this product. And, um, I got the Clinique Cheek Pop in Black Honey. I heard nothing but great things about this product, so let's see how it goes. Okay, it's a really nice, rather mauve color, and you can definitely build it up. It looks pretty. Yep, I love it. It looks really pretty. For my eyes, I'm gonna be using my Tattoo Liner. This is in the shade um, Intense Green. I just got this because I feel like um, green eyeliner goes really well with my brown eyes. So let's see how this product blends. I'm just gonna create a, I'm not gonna create a wing liner. I'm just gonna put the eyeliner on, on top of my lid. 
So I'm just taking this eyeliner and putting it on top of my lid. And then with a shader brush, I'm just going to blend this out. That's nice. Let's do one more sh one more coat. It's got a bit of a shimmer to it as well. It's not as green as I, I thought it was going to be on the pictures online. It looks really, really green, but I'm okay with this muted green tone. And for my mascara now, I'm actually going to be using my Beeless Fake It Mascara. This is brown. This is, a, this is my favorite brown mascara currently. I had my bronze, Physician Formula bronzer pulled out here. I'm not gonna use it to bronze my face, but I'm gonna use it on my uh, eyes, on my crease, just to add a little bit more dimension to the eyes. And I'm gonna add that on my lower lash line as well. My neck and my face does not match, so I'm gonna use a little bit of this uh, SPF 50 BB cream from Lancome. <clears throat> and I'm just going to put that on my neck as well. Okay, a little bit better. Now for my lip liner, I bought this NYX lip liner in the shade natu natu Natural, 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 I think it's Natural. Um, so let me open this. This is what it looks like. It's a really nice uh, peachy or pinky nude color. I do have a lip liner uh, video coming up so if you want to see that consider subscribing I'm gonna be filming my favorite lip liners my especially my nude lip liners because I have quite a lot oh, this is a really nice shade it's like my lips but better it does look really natural on my skin, with my skin tone on my lips. And lastly, I bought this uh, Black Honey, um, what is this called? It's called Clinique Almost Lipstick. It, this is in the shade Black Honey. So I bought it with the, the blush. Ooh, this is a really nice color. I love this. And it's very comfortable on my lips too. I hope it doesn't transfer too much. Because it feels like it might. But we'll see. Alright you guys, this is the final look. What do you guys think? I think I'm really let, let down by this one product. Because it's super orangey on me. And But the rest of the products I tried... I know I already knew the formula of the tattoo ink liner. Um, I knew the formula of the NYX lip pencil because I have a different shade of this. And so these two are good purchases. And I'm really happy with my Black Honey um, lipstick and, and uh, my blush. The blush looks super nice. So um, apart, besides from this product, I'm really happy with my other purchases. All right, guys, I'm ready to go outside and run some errands. I hope you enjoyed watching this quick makeup tutorial where I used my newly purchased, uh, some of my newly purchased products. If you like this kind of content, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.